हेलो एवरीवन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू दी बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रेप हाउ आर यू गाइस दिस इज संजय राठी एंड नाउ वी हैव वन मिनट यस नाउ ऑन सेवेंटीन ऑफ दिसंबर वी हैव एग्जाम फॉर व्हाट इसरो एग्जामिनेशन आई थिंक योर प्रिपरेशन इज गोइंग वेल एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टेक सम इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन फॉर यू that is the first session that is important topics from what analog circuit what are the important topics from analog circuit and we will solve number of numericals on these topics guys so uh, it is a just like a quick revision and if you uh, if you are not prepared any topics then you will get the idea about those topics guys okay sai vinay how are you very good morning now this is analog circuit that is for isro 2023 guys This is my introduction. Myself, Sanjay Rathi. I am having 23 years of teaching experience. I have qualified and selected for engineering services exam. These are my ranks, and I have trained more than one lakh students for these competitive exam. So, how are you, Ankit? Very good morning, everyone. Okay. So, आप लोगों की preparation शानदार चल रही होगी for ISRO examination, for GATE examination, for engineering services. And now, guys, now we will solve some important numericals on important topics. This is my Telegram channel that is Electronics by Sanjay Rathi. After this session, I will upload the PDF of this session on this channel, Electronics by Sanjay Rathi. You can join now for daily dose to improve concept, for daily important questions, for latest information about the exam, for notification of the class. Each and everything will be available on that channel, guys. You can join. Already, I have uploaded the PDF of what that is the. uh standard textbook question series from sandra and smith and today again we have at 5 pm one session on what's question from sandra and smith that is what oscillators so you can join that sharp at 5 pm subscribe the channel so that you are not going to miss any class then uh this is our result guys in engineering services exam first anchor vinit jain then varun kumar and this is the five aspirants under ai are 10 29 under 50 and 37 under what 100 guys so if you want to start your preparation for engineering services exam then you can start your journey with us for proper guidance anyone can crack this exam guys okay to aap upsc mein ja sakte ho you can become what class 1 officer also to so start your preparation without any doubt without any confusion If you have any confusion, if you want to ask, then you can also book your free counseling. Okay, Chinmay Roy, how are you? Very good morning, Swetha. Now, now guys, important. First of all, just I want to share my experience. Then we will solve number of important questions. So you can start with this question. Everyone, take a screenshot of that. Right, that is the question from what uh, previous year question paper. And I am going to explain what one important topics and. Uh, Let's get the idea first of all. First topic is what diode circuit. For example, when I, when we are talking about the analog, then broadly you can divide the analog into what first diode means application of the diode. Then what BJT. Then what MOSFET or FET, and then finally operational amplifier. first of all divide into it into what four parts now think about it but just write on your copy you will get the idea for example in diode so diode means what a uh, rectifier check whether rectifier all type of rectifier it is clear half wave rectifier full wave rectifier bridge rectifier and then what uh, rectifier with the filters so on then precision rectifier precision rectifier means uh, rectifier by using the operational amplifier half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier we are getting question from this na theoretical question they will give you the diagram and they, you have to give the answer what is this what type of transfer curve we are getting this is the precision rectifier all type of rectifiers then important topic is what clipper clamper clamper by using opem is also important get the basic idea then clipper and then finally voltage doubler and with the diode we are using uh, designing what voltage regulator also that is the jener diode this is very very important topic jener diode voltage regulators but we are also designing the voltage regulator by using what uh, 
BJT also by using uh, operational amplifier also. So they will give question on uh, voltage regulator from BJT from operational amplifier to prepare all these topics and get the idea about line regulation and load regulation, percentage regulation. Because in previous year question, one question on what the percentage regulation. So you can solve that. Now the BJT. BJT means what bipolar junction transistor. Uh, basic uh, difference between the common emitter, common collector and common base characteristics and what is the effect of base width modulation that is early effect that is important and get the idea about the input and output characteristics and properties of these three. After that biasing and stabilization that is very very important biasing and stabilization okay then uh, this topic is over. And then guys amplifiers, amplifiers by using BJT, when it is in active region, we can design the amplifiers by using common emitter configuration, common collector and common base. Most important one is what common emitter with RE or common emitter, bypassed RE, unbypassed RE, prepare this topic, RC coupled amplifier, so that is BJT. Now FET, normally they are asking question now this time MOSFET is very very important one. MOSFET and get the basic idea about what FET, JFET, Junction Field Effect Transistor. MOSFET especially what enhancement type MOSFET, right? Enhancement type MOSFET, okay? Then that is the case. Now, this is the JFET. Now guys, after getting the JFET again, biasing and stabilization of the JFET also an amplifier. Biasing and stabilization as well as amplifier by using MOSFET, especially what common source, common source, ZM minus ZM RD, that is the gain, basic gain idea about that, you will get the idea. Now, operational amplifier, when, I, when we are talking about the feedback, so feedback means, feedback is related to BJT, feedback is related to FET, feedback is related to what operational amplifier, there are four types of feedback topology, they are related to all these topics voltage series, voltage shunt, current series and current shunt. So, you have to relate BJT, FET and operational amplifier. So, all type of application of the operational amplifier, quickly prepare this topic like what uh, inverting op amp, non-inverting op amp, okay, differential amplifier, integrator, differentiator, logarithmic, anti-logarithmic, voltage to current converter, current to voltage converter, inverting summer, non-inverting summer, all type of filters high pass, low pass, band pass, band reject and all pass filters, okay. Then most important one is what uh, bi-stable multivibrator, mono-stable and all-stable by using op-amp that is non-linear character, uh, uh, non-linear applications also characteristics of that and finally what uh, triangular wave generator, square wave generator, oscillators, right, wind bridge oscillators, RC phase shift oscillator, these all are important from operational amplifier. I think you got the idea. Now feedback means what when we are connecting the feedback from these three. So what are, what are, which type of feedback we are having? Voltage series, voltage shunt, current series or current shunt to get the basic idea. Relate this all these points. Feedback. And another one important thing that is what power amplifier because we have to send a signal from earth to what moon, then we have to amplify the signal, the power amplifier, this is very important one, na? No, normally we are not considering a power amplifier in gate exam, but here you have to consider power amplifier. Power amplifier means amplifier by, uh, by using the BJT, but it is a large signal amplifier, it is what a small signal amplifier, here when we are talking, we are talking about the small signal, here we are talking about the large signal, get the basic idea about the small signal models like RE model, PI model, right, and a small signal model of FET, these all are the important topics, so how many students you have the command over this, tell me, up to this point, you have command, okay then, if you have the command then very uh, good thing, Diodes, BJT, FET. Now write all these topics and one by one watch whether all the rectifiers are you have idea. Clipper, single level clear, two level clipper, single level clipper, clamper, positive clamper, negative clamper. Right now, voltage doubler, 
two types of voltage doubler voltage regulator by using zener diode by using vjt by using operational amplifier so in this way you can check now i am going to solve some important numericals on this try to give me the answer for this if you find any difficulty if you find any difficulty or if you want session on some topics right then please write on my telegram channel i will arrange session for you i will arrange session for you guys so next one guys now watch this question which type of questions from electrical and from electronics branch sometimes we are getting very very basic question consider the electron and hole mobilities of germanium at 300 degree kelvin is 0.36 meter square per this is the unit of the mobility and 0.17 respectively always remember electron has more more ability uh, more mobility mu n is greater than what mu p so it is almost double 0.17 and 0.36 respectively and now we are having the ratio mu n by mu p between 2 to 3 that is satisfied and whole electron electron concentration whole and electron concentration find the conductivity of germanium so this type of questions also very very simple right both concentration same means what it is this intrinsic semiconductor it is what intrinsic semiconductor yes so intrinsic semiconductor means ni ni simple 2.7 into 10 raised to power 19 per meter cube now this is the per meter cube so what is the per centi this is also in meter cube or that is also in meter square so you can use and this is also in meter find the conductivity of germanium so conductivity of germanium so sometimes we are getting very very easy question like this so what is the formula so you have to solve because in uh, this is a in interview they will check your knowledge prepared for this type of questions also and avoid the silly mistakes avoid the silly mistake what is the formula in sigma n q mu n plus p q mu p n and q are equal to n i q mu n plus mu p right put the value and then get the answer very very easy one 0 0.36 0 0.17 2.7 2.7 into 10 raised to power 19 into q 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 19 19 cancel 0.37 plus 0 0.17 36 i think 36 okay and you will get the approximated answer from this is it clear you will get the approximated surjit 2.28 or the 2.28 means nearly equal to 2.3 that is the b is the answer you can check means what i want to say semiconductor physics semiconductor physics every students uh, basic of semiconductor physics in case of analog that is i am not talking about the edc i am talking about the analog because that is for electrical as well as electronic student uh, uh, what is the mass action law what is the conductivity drift current diffusion current and what the einstein equation volt equivalent of temperature get the basic formula of all this terminology now next one watch this what is the next question now next question is from what operational amplifier watch this symmetry trigger circuit anyone tell me what is the symmetry trigger circuit by stable multi uh, mono stable or a stable multi vibrator what is symmetry trigger circuit so chinmay roy answer is b yes correct the symmetry trigger circuit shown in the figure below uses zener diode with vd is equal to 0.7 volt zener diode now here we are connecting the zener diodes to just limit the output voltage with vd vd means when the diode is forward bias the forward bias voltage is 0 0.7 volt if the threshold voltage v1 is 0 and hysteresis voltage vh is 0.2 volt then what is the r1 by r2 what is the ratio of r1 by r2 and what is the value of vr right Silver trigger shown in the figure below uses zener diode with vd is equal to 0 0.7 volt threshold voltage is given okay and uh, threshold voltage v1 is 0 and hysteresis voltage is 0 0.2 volt r1 r2 and vr we have to find okay what is the value then no 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 chinmay it is a 
it is uh, when we are giving the input here this is the input here it is not in a stable mode it is a bi-stable multi vibrator by uh, cement trigger circuit is bi-stable multi vibrator practical comparator it is a bi-stable multi vibrator or practical comparator a stable multi vibrator is what free running multi vibrator free running means there is no output there is output without any input square wave generator it is not a generator it is a converter when we are giving the sinusoidal signal it will convert it into square wave so this is a bi stable multi vibrator remember now bi stable multi vibrator so this is a standard circuit so here the output has two levels plus v set or minus v set plus v set or minus v set so then watch this if the positive terminal voltage this is the positive terminal voltage this is the negative terminal voltage so if the positive terminal voltage is greater than the negative terminal output is plus v set plus v set or it is limited because of the jenner diode and vp is less than vn then we have the minus v set negative value and positive value now what is the threshold voltage at this point because the current enter into the op amp is zero so threshold voltage is given by vth v naught into r2 always use the voltage division rule upon r1 plus r2 plus vr into r1 upon r1 plus r2 vr into r1 upon r1 plus r2 right now uh we echo nothing is given right nothing if the threshold voltage v1 is zero so I just i'm going to explain you what is the threshold voltage and so on now when i am talking about that threshold voltage is what zero what is the upper threshold vth1 the threshold voltage vth1 is that is plus v set r2 upon r1 plus r2 plus we are r1 upon r1 plus r2 okay what is the upper threshold this is the upper threshold so what is the lower threshold minus we said r2 upon r1 plus r2 plus we are r1 upon r1 plus r2 okay now what is the hysteresis voltage difference of these two upper threshold minus lower threshold when we are taking the difference that is cancel out and you will get two times of v set r1 upon r1 plus r2 that is the first equation r1 upon r1 plus r2 that is the first equation so what is the hysteresis voltage it is given uh, hysteresis voltage in a diode vh is equal to what 0.2 volt hysteresis voltage is given 0.2 volt guys okay now if you have the hysteresis voltage 0.2 volt then you can equate it okay second thing second just i'm giving you the hint second important thing uh, if one of the threshold voltage is zero if one of the threshold voltage is zero means what which one is the zero supply voltage is not given This is the minus V set. Positive of one diode is uh, reverse bias, and one diode is what reverse bias means in breakdown, and one diode is what forward bias. When the one diode is forward bias, then what is the voltage across the diode that is given as 0.7 volt? Okay. Now another important thing is what what is the value of V R that is asked. Then when we are calculating the hysteresis voltage. Tell me when the hysteresis voltage we can't find the value of V R because V R is zero. We can find the ratio of what R one and R two. If we have the value, what is the positive value? Then second thing, when we are talking that one of the threshold voltage, for example, this upper threshold voltage is what? It is not possible that upper threshold voltage will be zero. Why? If it is positive, it is positive. Then upper threshold voltage will is not zero. if this is zero means what this vr is definitely vr is what negative so is there is any negative value vr we have negative value 1 2 3 we are having the negative value of vr 
तो वन ऑफ द थ्रेश होल्ड इज जीरो मीन्स वेन वी आर इक्वेटिंग इट टू जीरो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट द अपर थ्रेश होल्ड वोल्टेज इज जीरो देन देन गाइज दैट विल बिकम वॉट you can make it what zero we set r2 upon r1 plus r2 plus we are r1 upon r1 plus r2 equate it to zero you can find the value of we are this value this value cancel out and then you will get we are is equal to r2 by r1 into what we set Now what is the problem here? What is the problem here? What is the breakdown voltage of the Jenner diode? It is not given. It means there may be the printing mistake. But if the voltage of the Jenner diode is given, then how we can find the value? watch this in this diagram no doubt that jenner diode is connected here but here also a resistance is connected right and when we are having operational amplifier like this here we are connecting the jenner diode here we are having the plus v set or what minus v set according to the position of positive terminal and negative terminal but because of this jenner diode what will happen when it is plus v set when it is plus v set the current will flow like this this is plus minus plus minus this is forward bias so it has the drop 0.7 volt and that is the reverse bias it is breakdown Suppose it has 4.3 volt as a breakdown voltage. 0.7 volt plus 4.3. So what is the output limited to what 5 volt? But what is the output at this point? It is the V set. But at the output, let the V set is 15 volt. It is not given in the question. If it is not given, then guys, then remember, try to understand. If it is not given, then again at the voltage it is a 15 volt. But because of this Jenner diode, these are called clamping diodes. Output is limited to 5 volt. Similarly, similarly, when it is reverse by when it is we are getting the minus 5 volt here, minus 15. Then what is the direction of the current? You have to change the direction of the current. Current is moving in this direction. Then this diode is reverse bias and this diode is forward bias. Watch this. Current opposite, this is plus, this is minus, this is plus, this is minus. This is forward bias, this is reverse bias and you will get minus 5. So output is limited to plus 5 volt and minus 5 volt. Okay. Then simple, it is called limiter. So if you have the value of that, you can find, just I am giving you the formula. So in that case, you have to use the positive value. You have to use the positive value of the output. From this, you can find. So this is what minus sign. When I am putting the positive value, when I am making it 0, this will become Vr is equal to minus R2 by R1 into V positive. It may be 5, it may be 6. It is not given in the question, but you can use this formula. Similarly, Equate it to that again here you have to use the positive value of the V0 because output is limited when the output is limited in case of upper threshold and in case of lower threshold you have to use the positive value of the output or negative value. If the Jenner diode is not given then you can use what plus V set and minus V set guys. So write down the formula finally if the output is limited then always use this formula. VUTH final formula for this. V positive value, limited value, R2 upon R1 plus R2, quickly you can use this formula, Vr into R1 upon R1 plus R2. And always check what are the position of R1 and R2. This is the R1, that is the R2. So Vr into R1 upon R1 plus R2, this is correct one. Then VLTH, negative value of the output, negative value. 
आर टू अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर टू लिमिटेड वैल्यू प्लस वी आर अपॉन आर वन प्लस आर वन प्लस आर टू देन वॉट इज दिस्टेरिस वोल्टेज विल बिकम टू टाइम्स ऑफ बिकॉज वी आर सब्रैक्टिंग नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव विल बिकम दैट आर वन प्लस आर टू दैट इज गिवन एज जीरो पॉइंट टू वोल्ट नाउ यू कैन फाइंड द वैल्यूज ओके दैट इज ऑल अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन ओके नो प्रॉब्लम दैट इज नॉट गिवन यू कैन एज्यूम एनी वैल्यू एंड यू कैन फाइंड द आंसर यू कैन फाइंड द आंसर मीन्स मीन्स वॉट सिमिट ट्रिगर सर्किट इन माई नंबर ऑफ सेशन आई हैव गिवन ऑल टाइप ऑफ सिमिट ट्रिगर डायग्राम वेदर द इनपुट इज कनेक्टेड टू पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल और वेदर द इनपुट इज कनेक्टेड टू नेगेटिव टर्मिनल तो जस्ट आई एम गिविंग यू थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट डायग्राम प्लीज प्रिपेयर दिस थ्री डायग्राम फर्स्ट डायग्राम ऑफ सिमिट ट्रिगर सर्किट इज लाइक दिस same diagram v in is connected here without any limiter r2 r1 this is the vr already i have given the formula for upper threshold and lower threshold to revise this diagram second diagram when the input is given to positive terminal this is a stable multi vibrator here it is connected this is input here r1 r2 v0 and this is connected to ground this is plus v set minus v set this is another important cement trigger circuit okay To prepare this, what are the upper threshold and what are the lower threshold for this diagram? I have taken number of session. All right, uh, sinusoidal signal. So then, what happens? Sinusoidal is converted into what square wave. Okay, second diagram. Third diagram. You have to solve this. For example, if the diodes are connected here, give me the upper threshold and lower threshold value here. this is diode is connected this is connected this is minus this is plus here we are connecting the input output this is 10 volt this is minus 10 volt one diode is connected d1 ideal diodes are connected here another diode is connected like this d2 this is given as 5 kilo this is given as 5 kilo right and now this is given as 10 kilo ohm now in this diagram we are using the again it is a cement trigger circuit again it is a cement trigger circuit we have different types of cement trigger so this is a very very important diagram so now in this case if you want upper threshold and lower threshold always watch d1 and d2 means what when it is a v0 is positive v0 is what positive and there are two levels only plus 10 or minus 10 when v0 is 10 volt which diodes are on which diodes are on d1 is on because of the 10 volt d2 is off when what is the voltage according to breakdown this is the ground according to voltage division rule 5 upon 5 plus 5 because this path will work 5 upon 5 plus 5 into v0 That is the threshold voltage. Five upon five plus five into output voltage ten. That will become five volt. That will become five volt. This is called upper threshold. Second, when the V naught is minus ten volt, D one off, D two on. Now focus on the lower path. What is the voltage here? Five. What is the resistance? Five upon five plus ten into what minus ten. Threshold voltage will become five upon five plus ten into minus ten, and that will become minus ten by three, minus three point three three. And now the difference of these two will give you the hysteresis voltage. That will become eight point three three. That is the answer. Okay, sir. Hysteresis loop direction mainly depends on what, sir. Hysteresis loop direction, whether it is a clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. it depends on what uh, uh what whether the input is connected to non inverting terminal or what inverting 
terminal guys okay inverting or non inverting terminal so that is i think this is clear to you symmetry or all the diagrams 1 2 3 okay for example here always you can compare for example if you want to write the hysteresis loop for this that is a very important question hysteresis loop for this then directly uh, always use this draw a line hysteresis loop means we are writing loop in transfer curve very easily you can draw this is the lower threshold this is the upper threshold if the input is connected to what inverting terminal so when the input is highly negative the so negative terminal is less than positive the output is what plus v set output is plus v set when the input is highly negative this is the input plus v set or when in, in, input increases when it will cross the upper threshold then the output will reduce like this this is the upper threshold like this so this is the transfer curve or when the input is highly positive it is minus v set because input is converted to inverting terminal right when we are decreasing the input we are getting this type of transfer curve so what is this it is a clockwise direction it is a clockwise direction so it uh, it depends upon what input input is connected to inverting terminal you can draw similarly when the input is connected to non inverting terminal very easy non inverting means zero degree phase shift input is negative output is also negative when the input for example this is the upper threshold level and lower threshold level when the input is highly negative so this is the minus v set output is minus v set when we are increasing the input it will cross the level then you are getting this type of output when the input is highly positive you will get plus v set okay during decreasing journey when input will reduce it will follow this path this is the positive journey this is the negative journey what is that tell me what is the direction anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction so when the input is connected to what positive terminal very very easy you can say because it is connected to positive terminal or input is very very high then 100 percent sure zero degree phase shift output will be plus we said so when input is positive plus we said input is negative minus we said opposite here okay okay then so this is all about the hysteresis and symmetrical circuit now guys next question Dekho, sometimes we are getting very very easy questions from what uh, MOS what is given here the technology CMOS used for fabricating integrated circuit refers to that is the previous year question tell me compound metal oxide semiconductor complementary metal oxide semiconductor condition uh, conditional metal oxide semiconductor compound metal oxide semiconductor what is the answer for this question now as you know when we are talking about the MOSFET you have to prepare what EMOS you have to prepare DMOS basic idea about the DMOS you have to prepare what CMOS you have to prepare the CMOS complementary metal oxide semiconductor this is the B is the answer B is the answer for this question guys each and everything about these three topics then this is the answer B B for Bombay the next one Again, one question from operational amplifier. What is the answer for this? Find the voltage Vn for the circuit shown below. Where is the Vn? This is the Vn. This is the Vn. Positive feedback is given. Negative feedback is given. If the negative feedback is dominant, then we can say virtual short concept and Vn is equal to that value. Sir. Uh, who told you that uh, when the input is connected to negative side in uh, feedback depends upon output not on input right so you have to check which feedback is dominant it is not depends upon the input if the input is connected to whether non inverting terminal or inverting terminal what about the feedback feedback is always because of the v naught that is converted to non inverting in this case there are two feedbacks negative feedback as well as positive feedback so in a symmetry where is the negative feedback tell me 
where is the negative feedback output is connected to positive terminal only watch the diagram carefully here there are two feedbacks if you want to check the feedback then you have to make the external battery zero when i am making this external battery short circuit so what is the feedback v0 is equal to v1 v0 is equal to what v1 or what is the v0 here 10 divided by 10 plus 32 what is the voltage at this point v1 v0 and what is the voltage at this point 10 divided by 10 plus 20 into what v0 and watch this positive this is the positive terminal voltage the positive terminal voltage is less than the negative terminal voltage and that's why there is a dominance of what negative feedback when there is a dominance of the negative feedback virtual sort concept is valid when the virtual sort concept is valid then you can relate this find the voltage vn for the circuit shown below so what is the value of the vn now you can write vn is equal to 10 divided by 10 plus 20 10 divided by 10 plus 20 into v0 that will become v0 by 3 that will become v0 by 3 now at this point this is also vn so v0 minus vn is equal to 6 volt because v0 minus vn is equal to 6 volt what is the Vn? V0 by 3. V0 minus V0 by 3 is equal to 6 volt. So 2 by 3 is equal to 6 volt. So what is the V0 is equal to? 6 into 3 by 2. 9 volt. So there is any answer? Okay. I have done any silly mistakes? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, no need to find the V0. We have to find the Vn. So what is the Vn? V0 by 3. V0 is 9 volt, so what is the Vn? 9 by 3, that is the 3 volt. 3 volt is the answer. 3 volt is the answer. Bilkul Sahih Surjit, your answer is correct. Now, I think your doubt is also clear. Because in similar trigger, negative feedback is not there, only the positive feedback. In this diagram, there is a both negative as well as positive. We have to prove that negative feedback is dominant. That's why I have made this what short circuit to v0 is equal to v1 negative feedback is dominant this type of questions so operational amplifier again very very important topic this is the question from what regulation voltage regulator guys so line regulation load regulation so that is given power supply having output resistance 1.5 supplies a full load current of 500 milliampere to a 50 ohm load Determine the percentage voltage regulation of the supply. What is the percentage regulation of the supply? What is the percentage regulation? Tell me what is the answer. Means guys, now just so we are reading the hint. Because on the 17th of December there is an exam. Analog is a very big subject. I am already I have given you the important topics and now I am giving you which type of every that is a related to what voltage regulator percentage regulation. So percentage regulation means a very very simple one no load voltage minus full load voltage upon full load voltage into 100 percent very basic formula no load minus full load upon full load then 1.5 ohm we have no idea about the voltage here so what we can do we can make a circuit here no idea about this voltage but output resistance is given 1.5 ohm 50 ohm is load is connected here. So you have the formula in terms of what RL and RS. You have the formula in terms of what RS and RL. Tell me what is the formula. So you will, if you have idea, okay. Otherwise, no, no idea, then you can write that this is the no load voltage. What is the no load voltage when there is a load is what infinite? So no load voltage is VTH. No load voltage is what? VTH. This is called VNL. And what is the full load voltage? When RL is minimum, there is a maximum current. And that is called full load current. That this is the VTH. Then full load voltage will become VTH into RL minimum 
अपॉन आर एस प्लस आर एल मिनिमम अकॉर्डिंग टू वोल्टेज डिविजन रूल नाउ वॉट इज द परसेंटेज रेगुलेशन देन नो लोड वोल्टेज वॉट इज द नो लोड वोल्टेज बी टी एच फुल लोड वोल्टेज बी टी एच आर एल मिनिमम अपॉन आर एल मिनिमम प्लस आर एल आर एस अपॉन फुल लोड वोल्टेज आर एल मिनिमम अपॉन आर एस प्लस आर एल मिनिमम नाउ रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला वी टी एच वी टी एच वी टी एच कैंसल आउट बिकॉज इट इज कॉमन and it will become rs plus rl minimum minus rl minimum upon what rl minimum you got this term and that term cancel out and then this is cancel out then we are getting what rs upon rl minimum only very very simple formula voltage regulation very very simple formula voltage regulation then आर एस अपॉन आर एल वॉट इज आर एस तो यर यू कैन सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन विद इन सेकेंड वन पॉइंट फाइव वॉट इज द आर एल मिनिमम फुल लोड करेंट ऑफ फाइव मिली एम फाइव हंड्रेड मिली एम पी एल टू फिफ्टी ओम लोड तो डायरेक्टली यू कैन अप्लाई द फिफ्टी ओम लोड यू विल गेट इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट वॉट इज द आंसर थ्री परसेंट answer is what 3% so directly you can use this formula so no need to use this what 500 milli ampere otherwise you can use the 500 milli ampere to find the value of the vth rs is given rl is given voltage is given then uh, current is given then you can find the value of what vth here 50 ohm is given 1.5 is given current is given then you can find the value of vth but not not required to find the percentage regulation okay so what i want to say this topic is important voltage regulator you can start with the percentage regulation then what what is the voltage regulator by using zener diode voltage regulator by using bjt and voltage regulator by using opam now next question next one dekho no bjt sometimes we are getting very easy question this time like pattern is new guys pattern is new you have to solve what around 80 question technical paper 120 minutes and uh, around 15 questions non technical and 80 questions we have one mark question previously it was what three marks question now it is of what one mark only that is the difference but marks is reduced but level of the question almost remain same 80 questions each of one marks there is a one third negative marking also okay all our mcq types question then again 15 questions from what reasoning and aptitude please make proper balance and you have to solve all the aptitude question because there is no negative marking now tell me power bjt has collector current ic 20 ampere at ib 2.5 ampere and reverse saturation current this one find out the current gain beta But it is all our nearby value, na eight, seven point nine five, seven, eight point nine five. So you have to use the exact formula. Otherwise, one can use what approximated formula. Then what is the exact formula? I C is equal to what beta I B plus one plus beta times of what I C U. What is the beta? Then you have to find. You can put the values here. Uh, uh, I C is equal to twenty ampere. And uh, beta I B two point five ampere beta two point five beta plus I C O is a fifteen milli ampere or what is this twenty ampere? So you can convert it into what ampere? Then it will become I C O plus beta times of I C O. Now find this value. find this value this will become beta is common 2.5 20 minus icu 2.5 plus icu beta remember what is the beta
आइस ट्वेंटी माइनस आई सी ओ ट्वेंटी माइनस आई सी ओ अपॉन टू पॉइंट फाइव प्लस आई सी ओ द वैल्यू एंड गेट द आंसर वट इज आंसर यस आई वी आई सी इज ट्वेंटी एमपियर एंड आई वी इज वॉट टू पॉइंट फाइव एमपियर एंड देन आई सी एस इज वॉट फिफ्टीन दिस इज द रिवर्स सेचुरेशन करेंट आई सी ओ फिफ्टीन मिली एमपियर तो फिफ्टीन मिली एमपियर मीन्स ट्वेंटी माइनस That will be definitely twenty divided by two point five. What is the twenty divided by two point five? Eight. Twenty divided by two point five is what? Eight. So definitely, it will be less than eight. So that is not correct. That is not correct. So out of B and C, so it is not exactly seven. This is the B. So you can check answer now because it is negligible amount point zero one five upon what two point five plus point zero one five. Calculator not allowed. That's why you have to find the approximated value. Then what is the answer? Tell me. You are getting the seven point nine five nearly. Yes. So that is the answer. Remember this formula. Okay. This is the answer. Okay then. Next one. B is the answer. Next is. You have to solve quickly. Slew rate. They say, what is the what are the properties of the operational amplifier? For example, CMRR, common mode rejection ratio. Second one is what slew rate, PSRR, power supply rejection ratio. Please get the idea about all these property and what uh, offset voltage is, offset voltage, offset current, offset current, biasing voltage, bias current. and offset currents right these are the important points guys so these are the rating now 100 picofarad capacitor has a maximum charging current of 150 microampere what is the slew rate of the capacitor slew rate what do you mean by the slew rate slew rate is what maximum rate of change of voltage maximum rate of change of voltage so 100 picofarad capacitor has a maximum charging current of 150 microampere so what is the slew rate watch this Q is given by what? Integral of I dt. If the current is constant, it will become I t. Current is constant because maximum current is one fifty microampere I t. Okay. And what is the uh, voltage across the capacitor? It is given by V c is equal to Q by c. What is the rate of change of the voltage? D V c by D t. It is given by one by C constant dQ by dt, and dQ by dt is nothing but current I by C, I by C. So V C is equal to Q by C. D V C rate of change is what I by C, and then when it will be maximum, when the current will be maximum. So current, the maximum value it is given. When the maximum value it is given, you can put the I by C. So what is the I? One fifty micro ampere. Ten raised to power minus six by C. Hundred picofarad. Hundred into ten raised to power minus twelve. It will become one point five into ten raised to power six volt per second. So what? This is the sixth. You can convert it into micro volt. One point five volt per microsecond. B D is the answer. So what is the unit of the? Uh, that slew rate volt per microsecond because it is a very very high value so that directly so so now with this you will get the idea this properties of the operational amplifier are very very important get the idea about this okay very basic question formula based question it is given again it was given what is the slew rate watch this an operational amplifier has a time rate of change of voltage 2 volt per microsecond if the peak output voltage is 12 volt what is the bandwidth of the amplifier What is the bandwidth of the amplifier? So, what is the relation between the bandwidth and the slew rate? Bandwidth means you can find what is the maximum frequency of operation. The so maximum frequency of operation that is given in hertz. So remember, guys, the maximum frequency of operation FM is given by right slew rate divided by two pi pm closed loop gain. That is the formula. Slew rate. So operational amplifier has a time rate of change of voltage two volt per microsecond. Two volt per microsecond means two to the two into ten to the power six volt per second. Remember, you have to convert volt per second. Then upon two pi, 
Vm. What is the peak output voltage is of 12 volt. If the peak output voltage is of 12 volt, how we are getting the peak output voltage? Vm is what peak value of the input multiplied with the closed loop gain. So this is nothing but peak value of the output voltage. When it is multiplied with the gain, this is the peak output voltage. So Vom. 2 to cancel. Now use this formula and get the approximated answer. This is given in pi. And that's why it will become what? Uh, 10 to the power 6 upon 12 pi. 10 to the power 6 upon 12 pi means megahertz. A answer. A answer. Right? Very, very simple. So, the PS, a power supply rejection ratio, that is the power supply rejection ratio means what? Uh, uh, note the heading of that power. So, PSRR is power supply rejection ratio. Uh, means what we are doing. So, this is, I think, this is clear to you. Very simple. Uh, when we are giving an offset voltage here, so I will explain this. When we are giving the supply here, plus V set, minus V set. And there is an offset voltage between these two. Input offset voltage. So that output will be balanced. Output will be balanced. We have to maintain the voltage between the terminal V1 and V2. Because initially the operational amplifier was uh, not balanced. Then we are providing some voltage VIO. But what will happen? There is a slight change in the supply. When there is a slight change in supply, there is a voltage fluctuation. That's why the supply will change. When this supply will change, that VIO will change. And that is the ratio of the VIO. So this is change in what? In the range of microvolt and that is change in the range of what volt? So unit you will get this one. So that is the power supply rejection ratio. Are I have given you the hint, get the idea about that. What is the power supply? That is the relation between the supply voltage and input offset voltage. Okay, collect your data. If you don't find, then please inform me. And you can get the standard answer from Milman Halkias. Milman Halkias. What are the typical values? Table is given, you can find that value. Okay, then. Next one, before starting the next section, it is a very, very, very important information. Okay, already I have given the result of engineering services exam. Please go through the mock test. Recorded sessions are available on our channel and uh, around 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 50 minutes mock test. We have given feedback. Then guys, you can start your preparation. So if you want to start your journey with us, then this is a national scholarship test for GATE exam. Get up to 90% off on our program. Please note the date. 26th of November means that coming Sunday. That is what? 9 a.m. to what? 9 p.m. And that is the register now for this. And second, strategy to secure AIR under 100 in GATE 2025 live interactive workshop by Dheeraj Sardana sir on 29th of November at 7.30 pm guys. So you can also join this and you can give the mock test. Okay. Now next question. Diode circuit guys. Diode circuit. First diode circuit is what? Clamper circuit. What is the clamper? So theoretical question. First of all, get the basic idea about the what is the basic property of the clamper? What are the applications of the clamper? Clipper, voltage doubler. Tell me what is the answer? Clamper circuit. So we, this type of questions we are getting. Add or subtract a DC voltage to form? Yes, it is correct. Does not change the shape of the waveform? Definitely, it will not change the shape of the. This is also correct. Both one and two are correct. Both 1 and 2 are correct. So within 10 seconds, you can solve this type of questions. Then, now this is the offset voltages and currents. For the Because in, in, uh, in ISRO, we have to balance the operational amplifier. That's why they, they can ask this type of questions. Tell me, for the operational amplifier shown in the figure, the bias currents are 450 nano ampere and 350 nano ampere. The values of the input bias current and the input offset currents are. What is the input bias current and input offset currents are? So input offset and input bias current is given by average value of the separate current entering into the operational amplifier. So what is the average value? 450 plus 350 divided by 2. 800 divided by 2, that is the 400. That's why these two answers are wrong. Out of these two, anyone is correct. 
वॉट इज द ऑप्सेट करेंट दैट इज द डिफरेंस ऑफ द सेपरेट करेंट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस फोर फिफ्टी माइनस थ्री फिफ्टी हंड्रेड दैट्स वाई दिस आंसर इज करेक्ट डी फॉर डेली टू हंड्रेड ओके नो नो ऑप्शन सी इज नॉट करेक्ट ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट चिन्मई बिकॉज ऑफसेट वोल्टेज इज द डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस टू करेंट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस ऑफ द सेपरेट करेंट एंट्रिंग इन टू द टू टर्मिनल सो दैट ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर इज बैलेंस बैलेंस मीन्स वी आर गेटिंग द आउटपुट जीरो तो दिस इज द डिफरेंस टू हंड्रेड एंड वॉट इज द एवरेज वैल्यू फोर हंड्रेड ओके दैट इज द वैल्यूज आई वी वन एंड आई बी टू तो ऑफसेट वोल्टेज इज ऑफसेट करेंट पावर सप्लाई रिजेक्शन रेशियो एंड सो ऑन ओके Not as clear. Then, up. What is the standard diagram of what a stable multi vibrator? So this is the standard diagram of a stable multi vibrator. So in the following a stable multi vibrator circuit, which pro properties of V not T depends upon the R two. So guys, remember this is a standard diagram. So when we are connecting the R two here, right? Then you will get what? Uh, what is the time period? Time period is proportional to R one plus R two into C. If the time period is proportional to R one plus R two into C for this diagram, then definitely frequency. What is the frequency one by t? It it also depends. But amplitude, when we are giving the positive feedback, there are only two amplitudes, plus V set or minus V set, because gen diode is not connected. So output is has two levels, plus V set and minus V set, because there is positive feedback. and that's why amplitude is independent of this r2 but definitely time period and frequency depends so only the not both the not only the frequency definitely frequency is affected because of this r2 but you have to check what is the charging discharging of that a stable multi vibrator then you can solve this type of questions a stable multi vibrator okay sometimes we are getting this type of questions guys multi vibrator Because we can design the multi vibrator by using triple five timer, by using BJT, by using MOSFET, or uh, sorry, by using operational amplifier, or by using gates, NAND gate, NOR gate. This is also a multi vibrator. The figure given below shows the circuit of which one of the following. That is from the digital. This is the NOR gate. This is the NOR gate. R and C is connected. When R and C is and one input is connected. Remember directly, you can say one input is connected means what? it is not a a stable multi vibrator it is not a a stable multi vibrator because in a stable there is no input now but capacitor is given once the capacitor is given there is a charging of this capacitor when the capacitor will charge automatically it will trigger the circuit means it is what mono stable multi vibrator it is a mono stable multi vibrator Okay, now if you want the function of this complete diagram, then please inform me on my Telegram channel. I will uh, arrange one session for that because mono stable, a stable, bi stable is a very lengthy topic. So we have to solve all this type of questions. Okay, it is a mono stable, right? So NOR gate, what is the function of the NOR gate, right? And then the capacitor will charge. It will also give the trigger to the circuit. And here we are initially we will apply trigger at this point. What is the mono stable multi vibrator? When we are giving the trigger, it will switch from zero to one. After some time, automatically it will become zero. For TP period, it will remain one, and automatically it will become zero. So from zero to one trigger, one to zero no trigger. So that is called one shot multi vibrator or uni vibrator. Opposite is also possible. One, it is in under stable uh, stable state. We are giving the trigger; it will zero automatically. It will become one. So zero, one to zero trigger is required. Zero to one, no trigger is required. Again, it is a mono stable multi vibrator. Mono stable. Okay. Then, now tell me this type of questions. The oscillator circuit shown in the figure has an ideal inverting amplifier. Its frequency of oscillation. means bar hussein criteria oscillators rc phase shift oscillator wind bridge oscillator colpit hartley clap crystal oscillators so this is a this is also important question here we are having the feedback path c r c r c r means rc phase shift oscillator every rc circuit will give the 60 degree phase shift so total it will provide 180 degree phase shift and 180 degree is provided by this inverting amplifier 
this is Gleiton on one inverting amplifier, ideal inverting amplifier. It will provide 180 degree, remaining it will provide 180 degree. And that is a standard diagram. This is our standard diagram by using OPM or by using what? FET. We have the two diagrams. So, what is the frequency? It is given in hertz. When it is given in hertz, this is correct answer. 1 by 2 pi root 6 RC. When it is in radian per second, then this is the answer. When it is divided, this is the omega naught, this is the F naught. Radian per second. So, this is a standard circuit by using open, by using what? FET. 180 degree phase shift. Okay. Then tell me. Now, if suppose I am going to design that same circuit by using operational amplifier, then this is the case. When I am designing that circuit by operational amplifier, then what should be the gain of this operational amplifier? If this is the inverting operational amplifier Ra by R1. Then tell me what is the RF by R1 for oscillator by RC phase shift oscillator. Tell me what is the answer. This is the feedback path. What is the gain? What is the condition? Rf by R1 is equal to Rf by R1 is equal to what? 29. 29. Or practically it should be slightly greater than 29. Rf by R1 ratio is what? Slightly greater than 29. That is called condition for oscillation. That is called what? Condition for oscillation. Okay. So here, subject here. Okay. Then. The next one. Tell me. For the oscillator circuit zone, expression for the time period of oscillation is. Again, it is a stable multi vibrator. Again, it is a stable multi vibrator. Uh, Raju, Ra Rakesh sir, Rakesh Talreja sir have taken one session for that. Please watch that. You will get the idea about that, which are the subjects. So for the oscillator circuit zone, Expression for the time period of the oscillation is 4 tau log of 3, 2 tau log of 3, 2 tau log of 2, tau log of 3. So, it is a first of all, what is the name of this circuit? Time period of the oscillation means it is a square wave generator. Okay. And that is the value. It is a standard circuit or stable multi vibrator. This is R1 and R2 or RR. RR. So, what is the standard formula for this circuit? Standard formula for this circuit for the time period is tau. This is the RC, two times of RC. 2 tau, remember, log of 1 plus 2 times of R2 upon R1. R2 upon R1. What is the tau? This multiplied with this. So, tau is equal to 2 times of RC. This is multiplied. This is the time constant. This register and that capacitor. So, that will become 2 into 2, 4 log of because these two R are equal to log 3. 4 RC log 3. 4 tau log 3. We are log. Now, RC is given as R, tau is given as RC. So, no problem. Tau is given as the I can write this formula. So, what is the RC is tau? So it will become 4 tau log of 3. RC it is given 4 tau log of 3. A is the answer. A is the answer for this question. But you have the idea for the standard formula. Then you can solve this type of questions, guys. Okay. Now, so quickly within they gonna 20 20 seconds i am solving this type of questions then watch this
Tuned amplifier has a peak output as 2 MHz and quality factor of 50. The bandwidth and 3 dB frequencies shall be at what values respectively? What is the single tuned amplifier? To single tuned amplifier, if you have the idea, then you can find very easily that this is the tuned amplifier means here we are connecting inductor and capacitor register is replaced by inductor and capacitor here we are using the BJT. Potential divider, this is the tune amplifier. Or sometimes in the question, R is also given here. It works on what parallel resonance? It works on parallel resonance, guys. Nahi, no, Raju, no. Calculator not allowed. So you will get this type of response. When we are getting this type of response, this is frequency. This is called resonance frequency. Exactly at resonance frequency, we are getting the maximum gain and this L and C will act as what open circuit we are getting the maximum resistance that's why we are getting the maximum voltage gain at the right resonance frequency. Tune amplifier has a peak output at 2 megahertz means 2 megahertz is the resonance frequency and quality factor of 50 the bandwidth and 3 dB frequency if you have the quality factor then what is the bandwidth here this is given by bandwidth a naught by root 2 that is called what FL and this is called FH what is the bandwidth FH minus FL what is the bandwidth FH minus FL that will become what is the bandwidth then F naught by Q. So 2 megahertz upon Q. What is the Q? 50. Now you can find 200 divided by 50. That is the 4 40 kilohertz. Right? 40 kilohertz. Then second. Because quality factor is high, this is the bandwidth by 2. This is the bandwidth by 2. If you have the resonance frequency and bandwidth, then you can find the cutoff frequency FH is equal to F0 plus bandwidth by 2. And what is the FL? F0 minus bandwidth by 2. So these are all are the standard formula. So you can find the 2 megahertz plus 40 means 2.04. And 1.96 megahertz. That's why I have keep this value here. This is nothing but 0 0.04 megahertz. You have to add and you have to subtract so half of that. But half of that, guys. Half of that means 2.02 and 1.98. Otherwise, you are going to make the silly mistakes. Bandwidth is 4 mega uh, 0 0.04 divided by 2. 2.02 1.98. 2.02 and 1.98 2.02 1.98 otherwise you will make a silly mistake here that is the answer you are, this is the wrong answer okay easy uh, Raju Kumar please watch the previous year question paper log they will give you the value of log 2 log 3 otherwise you can remember the log 2 log 3 what is the value of log 2? What is the value of the log 3? 1. Uh, 0. 0.69 nearly equal to 1.1. Means so they will normally they will give you the answer in this term. So that calculator is not allowed for all the students. 
okay don't worry about that they will give you the typical value simple focus on that to how to solve the questions don't think about the other things okay because that is a new pattern in this this time so don't worry but if you have the command over the topics calculation is not a big deal guys if it is a very lengthy then simply leave it right otherwise try to focus on the questions without calculation you can solve in the wind bridge oscillator circuit shown in the figure bridge is balanced that is the direct condition so this type of questions in gate exam if you want to prepare the question from gate paper then straight forward question based question uh, sorry formula based question so formula based question you can solve because that is wind bridge it is a standard circuit so they will give you the condition only so what is the condition wind bridge balance bridge condition that is r3 upon r4 R3 upon R4 is equal to R1 upon R2, and but capacitor always behaves opposite direction. So C2 upon C1. So what is the condition? Balance bridge condition R3 upon R4 is equal to what R1 upon R2. This divided by this, but capacitor always opposite nature. C2 by C1. So C2 by C1. That condition is okay. And what is the frequency of oscillation when these two capacitors are not equal? These two resistors are not equal. In radian per second, the frequency is given by this one by root over R one R two C one C two. But remember this these two capacitor, okay? These two capacitor. So what is the answer for this question? C. C is the answer for this particular question. Balance bridge condition R three upon R four is equal to R one upon R two plus C two upon C one. Nature of capacitor is just opposite, and then frequency of oscillation. So that is the condition. So wind bridge oscillator is very very important, right? And then guys, uh, triple five timer prepare prepare the triple five timer. They may ask one questions from triple five timer also, right? So what is the triple five timer? Tell me, what is the answer here? What is the answer here? Okay. The function of the diode D in the circuit shown above is what is the function of the diode? Now, uh, remember when the diode is not present, what is the charging time constant R A plus R B into C? When the diode is present, again the charging time will remain same. So if you have the idea about the triple five timer, then you can solve this type of questions. Watch this diagram. This is the VCC. And now that is connected here, R A, R B, and C. B C C. Okay. Now the capacitor voltage is connected to two points, pin number two and pin number what six. That is called uh, trigger pin and that is called threshold pin. Or when this pin is connected to what pin number seven, this is called discharge pin. Discharge. The capacitor will discharge through this. Two is called trigger, and three six is called threshold. Then now the triple five timer. Then because of that, the voltage across the capacitor is limited. What is the voltage across the capacitor limited means? Highest value and lowest value is limited. Highest value is two VCC by three. Lowest value is VCC by three. And the capacitor will charge through this. When the capacitor will charge through this, so what is the charging time constant? R A plus R B into C. And the capacitor will discharge through discharge pin. So what is the during discharging? Capacitor will discharge like this. So what is the discharging time constant? R B C. Okay. When no, no diode is present, when the diode is present, this is the last question. When the diode is present, guys, if the diode is present. in this manner then during charging diode will remain off so there is no effect on the charging time constant but during discharging the current will flow like this capacitor through diode and through this it will not pass through the rb it will short circuit the rb and that's why the charging time the charging time constant will become zero it will reduce the discharging time constant it will reduce the discharging time constant 
तो इंक्रीजिंग द चार्जिंग टाइम कॉन्स्टेंट डिक्रीजेज द चार्जिंग नो इंक्रीज द डिस्चार्जिंग डिक्रीज द चार्जिंग टाइम ऑफ द सी इफ यू हैव द बेसिक आइडिया अबाउट द ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर यू कैन सॉल्व इट इज अस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर एक्चुअली इट इज अस्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर बाई यूजिंग ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर तो गाइज जस्ट गेट द बेसिक आइडिया अबाउट द इफ यू हैव नॉट रिवाइज then simply revise what what are the basic uh diagram from the triple five timer one is what earth stable multi vibrator another one is what mono stable multi vibrator guys okay so just i am giving you the diagram quickly that is what the first diagram this is the pin number 1 ground we are connecting a capacitor to pin number 5.01 microfarad value we are getting the output from the pin number 3 normally this is the supply voltage 8 4 is the reset pin connected to that and if this is connected r this is connected c this is r and c only and the voltage across the capacitor here the pin number 2 we are giving the trigger negative trigger and voltage across the key is connected to pin number 6 and pin number 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 all are over and that is called mono stable multi vibrator For this monostable multi vibrator, the pulse width is given by 1.1 RC. That is the standard formula. That is the standard formula. This is a monostable multi vibrator, uni vibrator, one shot. This is the name. And the second one is a stable multi vibrator means they will ask very very simple diagram. This is the question. Same thing. Eight, four. We are getting the supply. This is the bypass. pin number 5 this is the pin number 3 we are getting the output this is the supply this is the reset pin and then what what we can do here ra is connected rb is connected and c is connected pin number c check this if it is connected to 6 and 2 means the highest level is 2 vcc by 3 lowest level is vcc by 3 pin number 6 uh, pin number 7 this is the pin number 7 already i have given what is the charging time constant what is the discharging time constant and c get the idea about the time table of uh, time period of this right and you will get time period 0.693 ra plus 2 rb into c what is the frequency of that 1 by t and you have to find the duty cycle also that is a very very important formula related to this this is a, a stable multi vibrator by using triple 5 time to so watch the diagram and try to give me the answer so everyone write the answer in comment box so if you want more session like this so now now this is time to solve some homework so are you ready to solve some homework so i'm giving you the two questions first in voltage series feedback that is also called series series uh, series shunt feedback what is the right answer for this question give me answer on my comments box you can take a screenshot if you want the pdf then join my telegram channel get the idea about all type of feedback voltage series voltage shunt current series current shunt already i have taken number of session on that please go through those sessions okay this is the answer question then and again that is a very very easy question on what transistor please try to solve this question also transistor one jena diode is connected and so on you can solve this okay then you can also join what uh, mega mock test guys from uh, 25th to what 1st of december register now for this okay and that is the schedule given for first of all installed by juice exam prep app where you will find the complete schedule register now for this this is golden opportunity for this and give as many mock test as possible it will boost your confidence guys and for example if you are giving the mock test you will go through the leaderboard you will get the idea about number of participant what is your rank what is your weakness what is your strength and write one more and more detail about your performance here and if you start your journey with us we have two courses for you crash course complete syllabus coverage and vision gate 2025 and 2026 complete syllabus coverage in english and hindi guys okay with what live classes recorded lecture study material practice quizzes mock test five things are required all five things are available here 
एंड दिस इज माई टेलीग्राम चैनल दैट इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स बाई संजय राठी यू कैन ज्वाइन फॉर पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस सेशन नाउ जस्ट आफ्टर दिस क्लास एंड प्रिपेयर योर टॉपिक इफ यू फाइंड एनी डिफिकल्टी इन एनालॉग इन ईडीसी नेटवर्क और एनी अदर सब्जेक्ट पिन मी ऑन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल वी विल अरेंज सेशन फॉर यू ओके जस्ट फॉर इसरो एग्जामिनेशन एंड आई विल टेक वन सेशन फॉर वट मिसलेनियस टॉपिक लाइक वॉट माइक्रोवेव समटाइम्स वी आर गेटिंग सम बेसिक क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माइक्रोवेव तो आई एम गोइंग टू अरेंज वन सेशन फॉर दैट ओके फॉर इसरो एग्जाम स्पेशली फॉर दैट you are on byju's exam prep like the session share the link of this session and subscribe our channel thank you and have a nice day